Greetings, welcome to this new video about dependent source circuit analysis solve the problem number 4. Let's consider this network consisting of 4 resistors labeled R1 through R4 along with 1 independent voltage source Vs and 1 independent current source Is. We can observe the presence of independent sources especially a voltage controlled current source and a current controlled voltage source. The question now is to find the voltage VO and the current IO. Let's move on to the solution. We are going to apply the super mesh analysis in order to solve this problem. First, let's begin by defining the number of meshes in this network. It's evident that there are four meshes. This is, is mesh number one, mesh number two, mesh number three, and mesh number four. Now let's proceed to assign the mesh currents in this network. And I will consider I1 is the current in mesh one, I2 is the current in mesh two, I3 is the current in mesh three, and I4 is the current in mesh four. All the mesh currents are chosen in the clockwise direction. After we finish the assignment of the mesh currents, we need to remove the two branch contain the independent source IS and the dependent source 2VO. We obtain our super mesh. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in super mesh, we can write VS plus R1 I1 plus R2 I1 minus I2 minus 4 IO plus R4 I3 is equal to 0. If we focus here, we have IO is equal to I1 minus I2. If we replace IO with its expression in the first equation, we obtain negative 250 plus 50 I1 plus 10 I1 minus I2 minus 4 I1 min minus 2 plus 40 I3 is equal to 0. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain negative 250 plus 56 I1 minus 6 I2 plus 40 I3 is equal to 0. And I will call this equation 1. Let's move on now to mesh 1. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in mesh 1, we obtain R2 I2 minus I1 plus R3 I2 plus 4 IO is equal to 0. If we replace IO by I1 minus I2, we obtain 10 I, I2 minus I1 plus 10 I2 plus 4 I1 minus I2 is equal to 0. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain negative 6 I1 plus 16 I2 is equal to 0. And I will call this equation 2. We currently have two equations with the three unknowns, which mean we require more additional equation to solve this problem. In order to get those equations, let's focus first on the current source on the source uh, uh, 2VO. We can write 2VO is equal to I1 minus I4. According to Ohm's law, we have VO is equal to R3 I2 is equal to 10 I2. If we replace VO with this expression the first equation, we obtain 20 I2 is equal to I1 minus I4 and I will call this equation 3. Let's move on now to the, car to the independent current source IS. We have IS is equal to I3 minus I4. That means I3 minus I4 is equal to 4 amps. And I will call this equation 4. After we finish applying the super mesh analysis, we obtain 4 equations with 4 unknowns. Let's begin first with equation 2. From 2, we can write I1 is equal to 16 over 6 I2 is equal to 2.66 I2. And I will call this equation A. 
By substituting a in 3, we can write 20i2 is equal to 2.66i2 minus i4, and we can write i4 in terms of i2 is equal to negative 17.34i2, and I will call this equation c. By substituting now c in 4, we can write i3 plus 17.34i2 is equal to 4. And from here, we can write also I3 in terms of I2. I3 is equal to 4 minus 17.34 I2, and I will call this equation D. By substituting D and A in 1, we derive one equation in terms of I2. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain finally negative 90 minus 550.64 I2 is equal to 0, that means I2 is equal to negative 90 over 550.64, we get negative 163.44 milliamps. And from equation A, we have I1 is equal to 2.66 I2. If we replace I2 with its value, we obtain I1 is equal to negative 434.75 milliamps. We go now to equation C. We have I4 is equal to negative 17.34 I2. If we replace I2 with its value, we obtain I4 is equal to 2.83 amps. And the last one. From equation D, we have I3 is equal to 4 minus 17.34 I2. If we replace I2 with its value, we obtain I3 is equal to 1.16 amps. Let's move on now to IO. We already said that IO is equal to I1 minus I2. That means IO is equal to negative 434.75 plus 163.44, we obtain IO is equal to negative 271.31 milliamps. Let's move on now to VO. According to Ohm's law, we have VO is equal to R3 I2 is equal to 10 I2. That means VO is equal to negative 1.635 volt. After we finish or completing the calculation, we conduct a simulation using SPICE to verify our result. Now let's proceed to the SPICE environment. Here is our network drone in SPICE simulator. We can see here that the independent voltage source VS, the independent current source IS, the resistor R1 through R4, and we have uh, the, uh, the voltage controlled current source and the current controlled voltage source. We connect here a voltmeter in order to measure VO, and here, like it's the same as an uh, ampermeter to measure the current IO. If we go now to analysis, the C analysis, calculate nodal voltage, we can see here that the VO is is equal to negative 1.64 is almost the same value we have done by calculation and the current IO is negative 272.73 milliamps is also almost the same value we have done by calculation thank you for watching this video if you have any question do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will answer you as soon as possible. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. See you next time in another video. Take care and bye bye.